Okay, cool. Didn't even have to come here by myself. Got anything new? Yes. Well, I, I did want to check out your swords and stuff. But, um, I guess you don't want me to. Oh, there we go. That's good. Hello. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, Uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes. And he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Sure. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mm, letter. Um, documents? Letters. Is it this one? Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. That is interesting. Do we have any money yet? No. Nothing. Hello. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? 
Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. I sure will. Reach the V. I've already been there. I've already been there. I've already been there. <sighs> philosophical? How are they philosophical codex pages? What are you talking about? There's nothing philosophical about them. At least I don't think so. I mean, there was this one that told us how the plate works. That's it. Uh, more codex pages? Oh, come on. It's all the way over there. I wonder if these were even here before this quest started. It's like, I really want to know. <laughs> At least it would be interesting to know if there were. Ezio. I need a horse. Idiot. Ezio. Get on the horse. There we go. It's not that hard. Oh, there's a horse right there. That's convenient. Oh, that was sequence three. Already? That's cool. And... Oh. Claudia! Claudia! I'm coming for you. Let's hear you complain about this place again. Because that's so much fun to listen to. Ah, I'm kinda tired. Ah, not really, but kinda. Claudia! Talk to me, baby. Hey, come on. Salute, Hurry. Claudia! Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous! What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Uh. Yeah. I don't really give a shit, but okay, it's cool. Do we have any money now? Can I take some money? Any money? Any money? Money, 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 money. Fine, there's no money then. One job. Hi. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money... Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto! He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations... Blah, 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 blah. 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 Let's take a look, shall we? Thank you. 
I don't have any money though. Oh wait, I do. I'm gonna start from here. Okay, bye. Also, you're a guy who always repeats the same things over and over. I don't like that. Hi there. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Ah, <sighs> all those things. I know. I know. Oh yeah, we can go on over to take the Templar treasure stuff and put them over here. That's gonna be so freaking cool. It's one of my favorite things in this entire game. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Probably. In also, order you know to what? achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Thanks, Rebecca. Also, what I think would have been cool if Ubisoft would have had, you know, like Connor and and Edward and people like that over here. But this, all these so-called like, I don't know, like all these people. We never heard of them. You know what? This is this girl's name. If if that was Finnish, that would be my evening. Iltari means my evening. However, um, all these people we never ever heard of them. Just. Ubisoft, please make a game out of these. I mean, like this person? What's her name? Amunet. She's obviously from Egypt. And Wei Yu is obviously from China. And this guy, well... Like Turkey or something, probably. I don't know about you, like, you're like Mongolian. Probably, I'm not sure. You are... From Greece, I presume. And you are. I actually have no idea. What kind of name is Iltani anyway? However, if those people were so important, how come we never heard of them again? I'm just asking. Hey, Claudia. Got any money? Fuck you. I didn't like you anyway. It would just be awesome if we had a game that was in. In China or or Egypt or stuff like that, that would be fucking amazing. Oh wait, no, that was the wrong button. Fucking hell! Let me buy stuff. That was an accident. There is a treasure over here. Okay, horse, horse. How come you change color? We're gonna go, 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 kill Francesco de Batti. Leonardo. 
My f my friend. I came all the way from from Montericioni just to meet Ezio, with you. You are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Leonardo and his assistants, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. It's fun. Those, those dummies look really human. They even have fingers. Looks like, no, wait, no, it's just straws, still. That's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Hello, Leonardo and ready. Are you? I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. No, it's gonna be fine. Also, I know that at one point you have to hug Leonardo. And I really want to do it at one point. It gives you the, like... Um, it's like a really... The quick time event to hug him and it really bothers me because i don't know which button to push and there's a lot on the keyboard it's different when you have a controller but with a keyboard it's so fucking hard because you have no idea which button it's going to tell you to press and you're like oh where is it and then it's like ah oh, you missed fucker and then i'm like no there's a thing over here but where is it? Before I get the fox, I want to get the thing. Where is it? What's that? Is it? Is that the thing over there? Is that it? Oh yes, yes it is. It is. It's Chinese. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Uh That was easy. S P Q R. What 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 does that even mean? Oh. They took it. Hi, I'm not going to take that yet. I'm going to look around. It's a Cross? It's a temporal cross? No? It's a star. Shroud. That was easy as fuck. Just gonna tell you that. Oh, he's over there. La Volpe. What does the fox say? No. My pouch, oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> I gotcha. 
I really have no interest in hurting you. How did you get over there? So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Yeah, thanks. How the fuck did you even get in here? You are a mystery. Whoa. The flags aren't feeling so good. Now you're telling me about the eagle vision. I already knew that. You idiots. Oh, who are you? Why are you running away? Why do you have a marker on you? I wanna get you. What's going on? Who are you? Oh. Oh. Hey. You just... What the hell? Hey, come on, what the hell? Why would you shame your what are you doing? Can easily become a lethal, yes? Come on, he's getting away. What the hell? What happened to you? It's you, come on! You have to get him! I know what it is what it is. What is this? What is it? What the hell? Dude! What the hell? Dude! Dude! Wait! Dude! Just come on! Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you what are you doing? Hey, person. Idiot! Ezio! What the fuck? Okay, now he's gone forever. Whatever. Ow! What is your problem? I haven't I didn't do anything, you piece of shit! Hope you've made your peace with God for Fucking idiot. It's your fault for attacking me first. Idiots. I didn't even do anything, I was starting to get past you. Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. Just let me follow you and I will. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Shut up, I can't move. It's not my fault. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? Oh, I gotta get down there. There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Hmm. Buona fortuna. Yeah, thanks, dude.
It's all about how you let the beast go 